Downtown Macon could soon look a little greener. Bibb commissioners want to expand the green space on Cotton Avenue and 2nd Street and make it more walkable. Their plans include a seating area and trees to give people a spot to rest as they explore downtown. Anthony Montalto explains how they'll make it happen. This plaza has seen a lot of change since June when they moved the Confederate statue and now the county hopes adding more green space will generate more green for some downtown businesses. Tabitha Sewell wears a few different hats when she's on the clock at Z-Beans. I make coffee, I make food, I drink a lot of coffee. That's the life of any barista on the job, but it's not the endless supply of coffee that keeps Sewell going on her long shifts. Meeting so many different types of people is always wonderful. It's the people. Finding those little connections or something to talk about is always really fun and I really enjoy it. Um, and I've made a lot of really interesting friends like working at here um, and at the other locations. Sewell may have more friends walking into place in order soon. That's if making bib commissioners approve plans this week to expand the green space on cotton. Alex Morrison with the Urban Development Authority says making the area more walkable may help Z-Beans and other downtown businesses. Having a better pedestrian area and gathering spots specifically at that key intersection is something that we imagine will be a better place for people to linger, spend more time in, in the urban core and enjoy. Something Sewell thinks may draw folks in for a fresh cup of joe. It kind of expands, you know, our reach a little bit because, you know, people can get their stuff and then like be sitting out there and still be in the area. Now they will be changing up the traffic pattern in the long term. Cotton will actually become a one way road, meaning you'll no longer be able to cut from second to cherry, but they are adding some more parking. So that's always a plus in Macon. Anthony Montalto 13 WMAZ News. And if the commission approves it, they'll start pulling permits later this month. Morrison says the $570,000 construction project would likely take about six weeks to complete.